you doing, guys? Chad here. Welcome back to the channel. And thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. See all this corn right here, guys? This is corn. It's the most corn I've ever grown in my life. In my life! Too fast. You gotta let me win once in a while. You gotta let me win once in a while. The problem with Molly is that she never ever wants to lose. She's a super competitive pooch. Even if I take one or two steps, she runs away. And if, I, if we're in a race, one or two steps, five steps max, and she's past me. She doesn't even give me like a head start, eh? She just blow, well, there's Stormy having fun by herself too. Look, Stormy's over there on that side. Molly's over there on this side. <laughs> it's so fun, these two. She doesn't even give me a chance to win. She's super competitive. She's got to win at everything. Such a good feeling to be able to harvest your own vegetables, create your own sustenance. Yeah! Elvis, you a hunk of hunk of burning love? <laughs> With your two girls here? <laughs> High five! High five! Yeah! Yeah! Good girl! <laughs> Let's go. We got these black leghorn roosters. They seem to like sitting up there and they're agile enough that they can jump and fly to get up there. And lately they've been hanging out inside Big Red's pen 
and Big Red doesn't really like it too much. He lets them get a little bit of food and water and then he kind of chases them out of there. And I think that's their way of getting out is sitting up on that ledge. Fuzzy? You okay, buddy? You okay? Ah. You wanna come down? You okay, buddy? He still doesn't like to be picked up, guys. I'm working on him, though. Fuzzy's doing good, though. He's just still getting used to his surroundings. I really want him to get to know me and my darling and Molly, you know, so that he'll be feeling right at home here at the farm and he'll really feel in his soul that that somebody loves him and somebody's looking out for him. It's good this little room has a nice window and surprisingly he's spry enough that he can jump up on this ledge so I've left I've left that little box there so that he can jump up there because he likes to just look outside and stuff like that and I mean we just he just needs time really to get settled in. It's only been a couple weeks since we brought him here to the farm. And so far, so good. He's a pretty cool cat. Hey, get out of there. Get out of that tree. Woody, get out of there. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure this is a pileated woodpecker. They're kind of the worst kind of woodpeckers around because they're so big. It's about 12 inches tall. And I mean, it's beautiful to look at, yeah, but the problem is that means the tree's not really healthy. There's probably bugs in the tree and they're digging for bugs. This isn't good at all. And I mean, if you look at this tree, this tree is like a hundred years old. So we're gonna harvest all this corn today. It's the most corn I've ever grown in my whole life. My darling's keeping me company today. She's working on it right now. And uh, let's go and have some fun with the corn. So guys, we're getting down to the wire here. It's September and I look around at this disastrous garden and we've harvested a lot actually, considering the amount of weeds that there are in this thing. We just got all this corn. It's looking good, eh? It's peaches and cream corn, the sweet corn, so yummy. Woo. Can't wait to eat that tonight. Peppers still that are trying to grow, but really they only grow about that big. 
We got some onions in here that we're gonna harvest soon. This whole row right here, this was cantaloupe, watermelon, and pumpkin, and we didn't even get one fruit. Not one fruit. All we got was yellow flowers, that's it. So we still got some green beans growing, Ferrari variety. We still got some of these Asian long beans growing. That's good. We still have some kale. You can see this kale here, guys. Got this kale. There's more of it over there. There's more of it over there. My darling harvested kale already a few times, but you know, it just keeps growing. So that's the great thing about it. Got a couple peppers in here still. There's a bunch of peppers in here, but the peppers are still like that big. That's it, just that big of a pepper. So we're trying to let it grow as long as we can. But I'm getting anxious because I wanna get my lawnmower in here and just mow everything. And then I'm probably gonna get my tiller out and till everything again. And then I'm gonna try using a cardboard system and a silage tarp system. Now silage tarps are not easy to get, I can tell you that. Not up here in Canada anyway. Not without spending a fortune. I found a couple places where you can custom order sizes. And I mean, it's like, hundreds of dollars by the time i get the sizes that and quantities that i want it's going to be thousands i didn't really want to spend that right now so although we did a lot of work in here late last year and this year the harvest period is slowly coming to an end good job ducks good job night night ducks Look who I found in the duck pen, guys. <laughs> Two Lugana ducks! Two Lugana! Two Lugana ducks! Molly, come here. Stay with me. Two Lugana ducks! Two Lugana! Two Lugana! Two Lugana! You two geese, two lugana, two lugana geese, two lugana. Let's go. Let's go. Hut one, hut two, two lugana, two lugana, two lugana, two lugana, two lugana. Great job, guys. Great job been really fun being able to share with you guys our experiences with this vegetable garden. As you remember, if you've been following for a while, earlier this spring, we created this garden basically from scratch. I built a nice fence around it. We tilled all the lanes. We had walkways, beds. It was perfect. And then after a couple of months of growth, it turns out to be not perfect at all. But it's all in a learning process for us, and we're going to do better next year. I assure you, probably gonna take us a couple years to get this garden right where we want it. But anyways, really hope you enjoyed the episode and all the fun we have here at the farm. If you're not yet subscribed, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. You got nothing to lose. And to all you subscribers out there, thanks very much. Thanks very much for all your support. Of all the things that I could vlog about, all fun at Hidden Spring Farm. That's what we do here all the time, is have fun here at the farm. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. You guys take care, okay?